Hello, Paul. Good evening. Oh, we have very few first few viewers. Good evening, Paul. This is day two of the final coaching, and my topic will be English. Uh, this will be a bit short because you will have another lecture after this one, Paul, which is, I believe, logical reasoning or something. So I, I will not be holding on for so long with you. Yeah, sorry, it's a bit late. Um, we're supposed to start at six, but now it's yeah, we're seven minutes delayed there were some technical problems because on sir dean's end but yeah hopefully he's gonna fix it now yes good evening po, hi um we'll wait for a couple of more people and then i will just start my lecture right away okay so for now i can do a shout out for everyone so you guys can comment down <laughs> kung tagasan kayo yes hi good evening it's me again so to those who were not here last night i lakas ng music Oh my, I can't find it. Okay, so to those who were not here last night, I lectured uh, for English and I'll have like, yeah, continuation today. So last night we talked about grammar and vocabulary. Now the topics will be continuation and grammar, but like a very little bit na lang po. And we will be talking about antonyms, synonyms, and I think sentence correction. Okay, and if kaya pa ng oras, um, we will also tackle word analogy, if I'm correct. Yeah, just a little bit of word analogy kasi uh, you have different... Why po walang sound? Yes, hi. So, yeah, you have a different lecture for the logical analysis, okay? So, focus natin is what? verbal reasoning, okay? However, I have few items kasi, and I have few techniques as well for word analogy. So, is it share ko na lang siya if we will have enough time tonight, okay? So, I will be releasing you a bit earlier kasi you will have another lecture at 8 p.m. And that is also another important lecture. So, I will release you at least 10 minutes early so that you can take a break. And then your the next lecturer will also be able to prepare his or her slides, okay? So, hello po. Good evening. We have people. Okay, from Region 8. Yes, I am here again. I am sorry. <laughs> so, and tomorrow will be my last day. So, okay, para hindi kayo mapagod <laughs> looking at my face. So, we have from Binyan, Laguna, from Tagkawayan, Quezon. Hello, good evening. Okay. So, comprehension. Reading comprehension will be tomorrow, okay? And I also added some. What was that? <laughs> Sentence arrangement. Yeah. And they are really long. And talagang focus sila sa... Yeah. I think tomorrow will be the most taxing lecture. Uh, grammar and vocabulary, like, it's okay kasi because we can do drills and you will inter... Yeah, you will you can interact and you can learn. So, I, I think it's more fun. Yung reading comprehension kasi focus siya on the context or the content itself. So, medyo boring. But, yeah, I mean... Kaya nga nagpa-practice kayo, di ba? So that you'll, you'll be able to answer. Okay, we are now here. Yeah, 70. I will wait for a few more people and then uh, we will start right away, okay? Again, I'm sorry that we were delayed because there were some technical errors. But yeah, I'm, I'm covering it up. And I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I don't want to keep you waiting. I don't want to wait either. <laughs> I'm supposed to start on time, but it's okay. So we have from, yes, magandang gabi, gabi, good evening. We have people from Dabao, from... B A R M M from Cebu City. Hello, which part in Cebu Puba? I'm also in Cebu City right now. We have from Sorsogon from Region 13 from Dulag Leyte from Bicol. I'll do my best to call everyone. Ah. Don't <laughs> I will never ignore. So okay. So yes, hello, po. Good evening. Ah, all right. So that's why there were some technical errors. Kasi. Um, they also did the live in the other. What was that in the other group? So in the fire officer exam. Yeah. But anyway, um, yes. Hello. So yeah, I live in Cebu City. We have people from CDO, Batangas. Okay. We have people from, okay. Yes, R5. What's this? Okay. Davao de Oro. Ah, yes. Hindi ko sinagot kung top-notcher ba daw ako sa let. Actually, I am not. 
Okay, I am not a top notcher. Um, really, and it's okay because hello from Nueva Ecija. Yeah, so I've, I've I'm so used to that compliment, and I'm it's really overwhelming. But I am not a top notcher caliber po, and like although I I actually studied hard to top it, but uh, it's not it it's not who I am. Like in sajang hindi lang achiever in those sense. So I graduated, never naging valedictoria, never naging cum laude, never a top notcher, nothing. And yeah, it's okay, no? So it's, yeah, sending a message that every one of us, kahit na wala kang uh, recognition or proper recognition, like, you can still be good, diba? Hindi naman dyan lang nasusukat yung galing ng isang tao. There. <laughs> but people often mistake me to be one. Uh -oh. Sometimes kasi, uh, no, we misinterpret natin the way a person speaks and if they sound so good so uh okay taragang na okay we do the stereotype thing na oh okay siguro matalino siya siguro cum laude top notch siya but it's not always the case okay anyway i will not talk a lot we're 100 now and i don't want to keep you waiting oh, let me shout out the last na lang ha so nueva isiha um Thank you. Lumabas daw yung ibang lectures ko. Thank you. We have from Kalinga, Surigao. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Sino ba si Carl? Oy, kagabi pa yan, ah. Anyway, let's start right away so that you can, uh, we can take a break early and then you can focus as well on your next lecture, okay? So this will still be English and part, oh, okay, I have another exam tip. Actually, I always say this exam tip in the very first part of my lecture, but Baka pa ulit ulit na siya at mapagod kayo. However, guys, I tell you, if you're about to listen to a lecture or if if you're about to review, please be in a clean state of mind, okay? And what I mean is you forget everything you know. Nga, tendency is, uh, in, in in an exam kasi, hindi nila hahanapin yung opinion mo. Hindi naman essay yun eh. So you have to forget everything you know so that you will be ready to acquire the new information. Para ba akong nagmamadali? Hindi naman, <laughs> Okay. So if you are going through something, if you're sad or, you know, you have a big problem, then I, I suggest that you should just watch the replay because you, you can waste your time listening tapos nasa ibang bahagi ng mundo yung isip mo, diba? So you can watch it. You can take a break and watch it later, okay? However, naman, if you're ready, then why not? So if you're able to clean your mind before we start, then that's a really good thing. Oh. Hello from CDO. Yes, good evening from Davao. La Union. Hi. Now, this is a grammar continuation, but this is actually absolutely very short, okay? So this is only about preposition. So yung in, on, and at. So when do we use them? Diba? Because last night we talked about do, does, did, have, had, has. So I only pointed out the very basic and the very important parts para kahit pagbalik-balik ta rin kayo doon. Kahit, okay, I will not say it. But yeah, you're, you're still going to be able to answer it, okay? Hello. So we have people from Davao, Bago City, Region 12, Sultan Kodarat. Hello. Batangas, Surigao, Tandag City, Surigao del Sur. I will go to Surigao next, uh, this January. Yay! Someone is from Thailand. Hello. <laughs> All right. And someone again is from California. Wow. wow. So let's start right away. So this is preposition. First one is when do we use in, on, and at. Always remember, we use in in a general setting. Okay. Uh, mas malapad yung kanyang scope. That's in. It's general. On naman if it is specific. Okay? And at naman is the most or the very specific. Okay? So again, in is general. On is specific. And at naman is very specific. There. Now, of course, it's not only that. Okay? Hindi siya ganun kadali. So we have examples. Let's start with the in. So it's general or bigger. So always remember, yung prepositions, ginagamit sila for time and place. Okay? So let's start with the time. So since general yung in, we use it for centuries. So for example, in the 1900s. Okay? Decades. In the, or in 1890s. Panahon nyo. <laughs> Just kidding. So, um, in 2000s, okay, or in the 20th century, for example, 
So we have years. So in 2022, kapag year po yung pag-uusapan, we always use in, okay? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, my birthday is on 2022. No, it's in. Kasi year siya mas malaki. We also use it in months. So for example, in August. Seasons in winter. Char, wala naman tayong winter, but just assume. <laughs> weeks in two weeks, okay? So it's more generalized term. That's when we use in, okay? And don't worry, you don't have to memorize everything po. We will have the drills later para kung anong narinig nyo, maa-apply natin kaagad, okay? So again, the purpose of my lectures is not to let you memorize everything. It's learning the skill and yung, you know, master your understanding, master your analysis so that you'll be prepared when you're there in the exam, okay? All right, so let's proceed. That's for the time, more general. Now, the same with the place. So, mas general pa rin. Okay? So, if we're talking about countries, so, for example, we will say in the Philippines. So, of course, a country is more general. Yes, good evening to those who just enter the live. Good evening po. <laughs> Para ba akong nagmamadali? Now, I just feel bad to keep you all waiting. And sometimes kasi, so, sobrang daldal ko and I... It's difficult for me to stop my brain to keep on speaking. So I want to focus on the lecture as much as possible, okay? But yes, good evening po. So let's have it. Next is cities. So in Cebu City. So kapag malalaking mga lugar, it's always in, okay? In Japan, in Tokyo, in Seoul, tan ko darat. <laughs> okay. Another is if it is inside something. Um, I don't have a box here. Oh, I do have. So here I found one. Ah, okay. <laughs> so I have here a box. If it's inside something, we use in, okay? So for example, itong box na ito, may laman siyang $1 million. Of course, there's an ink. So the bottle is, kapag nasa loob siya, it's in the box, okay? Or in the closet, in the cupboard, Oh, bahala na kayo kung saan, okay? In the bottle. In my heart. Okay. Now, how about transportation? When do we use in ba for transportation? Merong question kasi doon na. <laughs> I met him blank the bus. Is it in, on, or at? <laughs> Tas comments ng mga tao is, Nako, hindi kami sa bus nag-meet. <laughs> because that's a tough question. Always remember, for a transportation, I've said this before na, for transportation, we use in if hindi ka nakakatayo inside that place, okay? If you can't stand in that specific place. So, for example, yung jeep, di ba? Sa jeepney. Hindi ka naman nakakatayo sa jeepney, di ba? So, it's always, I am, right, I am in the jeep or i am in the car because you're not able to stand palang na nakabaw naman tayo every time we ride the jeep diba in the tricycle so any place that you cannot or any form of vehicle that you cannot stand that and you are inside so that's in okay there yes <laughs> so next one let's proceed how about on so on is so since yung in, it's malaki. Malaki. Ano malaki? Or general yung scope niya. Yung scope yung malaki, okay? On naman is more specific or smaller. Mas maliit. <laughs> so, for example, if we use on sa time, okay? So in is mas malaki, diba? So we use them. We use it for years and centuries and decades. For on naman, it's more specific. So we use it sa days. So on Monday, on Tuesday, on Sunday, whatever. And also dates. So on August 12, on December 25, on January 15. So kapag mas specific yung araw, we use on, okay? Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, ah, I am going to Cebu in Monday. No. On Monday, okay? So, must specific siya, okay? And another thing, kapag place, it's also more specific. Diba yung in is gagamitan natin siya sa bansa. Sobrang laki kaya ng bansa. 
But here, yung on, we use it on a street or an avenue. So, for example, we will say on Main Street, on Leon Quilat Street, for example. And another thing is we use on kapag surface siya ng something, okay? That's why I tried my best na kunin tong box to give you an example. So, we have here the, or the, this ink, right? Again, kapag nasa loob siya, it's in the box, okay? However, if it's on the surface of something, we use on, okay? Kapag nasa ibabaw, ano ba itong mga topics ito yung nasa ibabaw, Nino? Nasa ibabaw ng box. <laughs> so, here we use on, okay? So, instead of in the box, in this scenario, nagiging on the box na siya kasi nasa ibabaw siya ng box, okay? So, for example, if you have, okay, if you have, uh, or if you want to say something na nasa bahay ka, you should say you are in your house, okay? Kasi pag sabihin mong you are on your house, ibig sabihin nun, you are on the bubong or, or the roof of the house, okay? So, kasi nasa surface ka. Also, if you pay attention to hosts or yung mga MCs, they will always say, okay, let me call on stage, mister, on stage, okay? Kasi nasa surface siya. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin in stage kasi sa loob ng stage yon. It's funny, okay? So pay attention kapag sa surface ng something, it is always on, okay? Oh, I have any, oh, I don't have other, wala naman ako surface eh. But these are the examples. On the desk, on the floor, on the stage, on the table, Diba? Yung kanta ni J-Lo ba yun? On the floor. Kasi sa surface siya, okay? Now, for... Yes po, in the gym is correct. Kapag sabihin mong on the gym, ibig sabihin nasa... <laughs> nasa bubong ka ng gym, okay? But if you say on the floor, that's acceptable. Now, for transportation naman, sa loob ng sasakyan, if you're able to stand or walk on ang gagamitin mo, Okay? So, yung question na, I met him blank the bus, it's I met him on the bus. Kasi we are able to stand and walk naman on the bus, di ba? There. You cannot say in the bus. It's also okay kasi nasa loob ka, but you're able to stand or walk kasi. So, that's more appropriate, okay? Ano pa bang um, transportation na nakakalakad tayo? Of course, the train. On the train, di ba? On the plane, uh, but if hindi ka nakakalakad or nakakatayo, it's in. In the jeep, in the car, there. Yes! Yun po. <laughs> so, let's continue. At naman is the most specific. So, kapag yung in is sa years, yung on is sa days, at is the time. So, I will meet him at 1 o'clock. Okay? At. So, yun lang. Kapag specific time or hour, that's at. Also, the same po, the same po if, for example, it's a place. So, it's also very specific. Okay? So, address or specific location. So, you can say at the airport or at Marriott Hotel. If there is a name na ng lugar, so it's very specific, we use at. Okay? So, I am now eating at Jollibee kasi specific na nasa Jollibee ka, okay? So, at Jollibee in the room on the floor. So, you can see, you know, that there are some differences. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. O, yung tatalino nyo, ha? I love the examples. So, anyway, that's it. O, paano daw pag si... Yeah, kapag... Ano yun? My, my dwarfism yung tao, like the ghoul. Oh, that, that's... As, for grammar, kasi there are specific scenarios or there are specific situations. So, for example, yung taong may dwarfism, they're able to stand naman on the jeep. So, maybe it's just not so bad, di ba? <laughs> but the thing is, hindi naman common yung dwarfism. Most of the normal people, of course, uh, we can't stand inside the jeep, di ba? So, it's always, okay. In. Yung nakakatayo ka, it's on. Again, if it's anything specific or very specific, at yung gamit natin, okay? <laughs> on the bus po, kasi nakakalakad at nakakatayo ka on the bus, okay? There. So, yun lang. If you're having any confusion when to use in general, if it's 
on it's more specific and at naman is the most specific there anyway let's have the practice right away to see if you're able to remember the speaker was called blank the riser to do his presentation is it a n b on or c at please pop comment your answers and while you're answering i will entertain some questions okay let me see he is in your heart there it's our anniversary on August 12. Ay, it's my birthday on August 12. I'm so proud. Talagang pinaglandakan ko yung birthday ko. I love birthdays kasi I love celebrating birthdays. That's why. All right. So, correct answer is letter. Yay. So, I am seeing now everyone answering. Ano ba yung riser? Para siyang platform or para siyang mini stage, you know. Tawag natin dyan, riser. So, correct answer is, malayo na yung birthday ko yung August ba? Ang tanda ko na. <laughs> anyway, correct answer is on the riser. Bakit ulit? Kapag surface or nasa ibabaw ng isang bagay, it's always on. Okay? So, if may jowa ka, tapos nag kayo, so, I am on top of him. Or on top of her. Char. Sana all. Okay. So, <laughs> that's on kapag nasa. O, oh, ba? Pag ganong example, hindi mo na makakalimutan. <laughs> Sabi nga nila daw, anything you learn with pleasure, you never forget. Ah, there. So, on yon po. <laughs> mga friends if you are okay uh, on the top of something or on the surface okay so the speaker was called on the riser on the platform on the stage okay but don't laugh ah, if magkamali yung host sabihin niyang in the stage it's okay mahirap kaya maging host no anyway i will meet i will meet you blank midnight at blank at no, 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 nasabi ko na yun sagot. Ah, you can try again. I will meet you blank 12 midnight. <laughs> Is it in, on, or at? Sometimes it's like that, you know. Ang aking utak ay nangunguna siya. <laughs> All right, so I will meet you blank 12 midnight. Is it? Yeah, yun na na. Sorry. But anyway, you know already naman, diba? Na if it's the time... We say at, okay? So, I will meet you at 12 midnight. Anong klaseng tao yung makikipag-meet 12 midnight? Anong akala sa'yo multo? Girls, ha, if you're single, don't date boys who will only meet you at night. Amen. <laughs> you know where is that? where that's going. <laughs> <laughs> baka new year or baka birthday na okay that's acceptable or baka christmas no yeah don't meet people at midnight eh. ano kala sayo multo <laughs> so there next one oh my hindi nag move ang aking ay my slide froze you guys sorry okay i have to open another one again lahang laki ng aking mukha Ganon talaga po. Habang dumatanda ay nasusyo pa ng ating muka. For a while lang ah. I really don't like lapses pero ganito talaga eh. Sometimes there are errors. Sana ba yun? It's 12. At 12 midnight, ba? Okay, let me share my screen once more. I hate it. Okay. So na okay na siya ulit. Whew, bakit naman ganito? And here we are. So, Sir Dean, thank you. <laughs> Can you put me on the side? Okay, that's perfect. Thank you so much. Sorry. I think mas maliit yung... Okay, this is okay now. Okay, so sorry. Now, let's have it. I saw you blank the bus earlier. Is it A, N, B, on, or C, at? I saw you bl blank the bus earlier. Is it A, B, or C? Check your answers, book. 
<laughs> okay. Yung mga girls pala yung mahilig. At 12 midnight, okay? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, pwede kayong lumande, basta tama yung grammar. <laughs> okay. So, is it A, B, or C? Comment down your answers. Medyo malit yung slide ko, no? Okay, so it's very good. So I saw you on the bus earlier. So why is it letter B? It's because uh, on the bus, you can walk, you can stand. So onion, okay? There. <laughs> Hindi ko naman siya nakita sa bus. Sasakay tayo ng bus next time. Next one. New Year's Day is blank the first day of the first month. New Year's Day is blank the first day of the first month. Is it A, B, or C? Comment your answers down. All right. <laughs> I'll sabi ni Sir Bernard, the wheels on the bus, ah, diba? An th that's another studying tip kasi. Like mnemonics, some people are very strategic, you know. Like, lalo na tayong hindi masyadong mahilig mag-memorize. Like ako, I, I don't memorize at all. And I, I don't even study in college. I don't know, bakit nag-aaral ako dati? <laughs> I go to school for, yeah, the, the fun. So I don't really study. And people are very strategic. No? If they can't memorize, they use mnemonics. So yon, um, when I took the board exam, so meron kaming like YouTuber na lecturer siya, si Sir Melvin. So he's very strategic in like making sounds of those items that will possibly come out. So that's also another way. If if mahili ka sa ganyan, then that's a really good thing. No? Okay, correct answer is very well. Most got the correct answer naman. So New Year's Day is on the first day of the first month. Again, kapag araw, kapag day or date, always use on. Okay? So that was my example. On Monday, on Saturday, on August 12. August 12 ulit. <laughs> On February 14, diba? So, kapag specific yung araw, it's on. Letter B, okay? Next one. People usually don't go out blank winter. Is it A, in, B, on, or C, at? I know walang winter sa atin. Oh, pagpalagay lang natin summer. People usually go out blank summer. So, is it A, B, or C? Mm -hmm. Right now, hindi na summer, no? There are so many typhoons. Let me sit properly. I'm so uncomfortable. Okay, here we are. Now it's okay. So, comment your answers down po. Right, correct answer is, again, if it's more general, so kapag season siya, we use in, okay? People usually don't go out in winter, okay? In summer, in spring, in fall. I think there are four seasons lang for other countries. Good for them. Okay, so kapag seasons, always use in, okay? And I know it's difficult to memorize all of them. So just keep in mind, kapag general, it's in. Kapag specific, it's on. Kapag very specific, it's at. Okay, that's it. And there you go. So... We have an exam tip here. No, a lot of words. So earlier, uh, I mean yesterday, na discuss natin yung vocabularies, right? At least you met them, na na familiarize nyo na. I don't know, <laughs> familiar, no? <laughs> and of course, eliminate. Okay. So what is eliminate, ba? If you can't find the correct answer, try removing the wrong answers. So that mas magiging maliit yung options mo. And you have higher chances of getting the correct answer. So, we will discuss antonyms. So, ano yung antonyms? <laughs> okay, opposite. Yun lang. Antonym, kapag antonym, opposite siya, okay? There are ways to figure out an antonym. For synonym, there is, yeah, still the same. But yung antonym is nakapanap ako ng ways. So anyway, let us try. 
Okay. Which of the following is opposite in meaning to straight? Is it A, crooked, B, curve, C, line, or D, zigzag? Ang hira! <laughs> Which of the following is opposite in meaning to the word straight? Comment your answers down. I'm not in a hurry, yeah. I'm just trying to make it... Okay, it's the same. I'm quite in a hurry. So you have another lecture at 8. And I will try to release you at... I uh, know 750 so that you can take a break and the other lecturer can also prepare okay so if hindi kaya it's okay because there we still have one last meeting tomorrow friday night pa naman bukas guys <laughs> hopefully wala kayong lakad or gala by the way wag mo na kayong gumala oy board exam nyo next week i mean exam nyo next week okay so set your priorities after the exam, pwede na. Okay? But for now, uh, know your priorities. Malalaman mo yung priority ng tao kung saan nila ginagugol ang kanilang pera at oras. Okay? So if you're a family person, you spend, it, you spend time and money for your family. If you're single, then yeah, up to you. But doon mo makikita yung priority. Okay? So if someone hindi ka binibigyan ng oras, you know the answer to that okay <laughs> don't listen to the words watch their actions correct answer is oh daming sumagot ng curve <laughs> actually yung curve hindi naman siya uh, guys the name ng straight is actually crooked okay it's crooked ibig sabihin it's tabingi siya okay so curve or zigzag meron some parts is Plain na line pa din naman sila eh. Okay? But it's not necessary na opposite kaagad sila ng straight. Okay? Opposite ng straight ay gay po. <laughs> it's crooked. We're talking about the line. It's crooked. Okay? So, ibig sabihin tabing eh siya. It's not straight. It's crooked. Okay? All right. There you go. So, <laughs> ang tigas mo magtagalog pa. Ah, sorry na. <laughs> representing the Visaya people and that's okay. If someone will tell you, "Uy, matigas yung English mo, matigas yung Tagalog mo." It's okay. Hindi naman natin yun language eh. Lalo na yung English. If people will judge you the way you speak, kapag kamali yung grammar mo, pronunciation mo, it's okay. It's not our language. Kahit nga Bisaya nagkakamali ako or tayo, 'di ba? How much more if it's not our language? So it's okay. As long as nasabi mo ang gusto mong sabihin, so, next one. Which of the following is opposite to in meaning to aggressive? Is it assertive, pushy, passive, or insistent? The thing is, oh, baganda talaga na alam natin yung vocabularies, no? So, it's a good thing that I already told you about context clues. Okay? So, magagamit mo siya everywhere <laughs> in specific items such as synonyms and antonyms. Kasi paano mo naman mahanap yung antonym ng isang bagay if you don't even know what that means in the first place. Okay? So anyway, the word aggressive, it's not... Uh, it's, it's quite common naman. Yeah. Let's see. Yung... Uh, guys, yung hinahanap natin antonym or opposite. Okay? If you say aggressive, yung... Very, I want to explain it, but I'll be able to say the correct answer now. I'll, I'll just, okay, see your answers. But some are chatting the correct answer naman. Okay, so, yeah, it's actually letter C. So, kapag sabi mo aggressive, it's assertive, pushy, or insistent, you know. Yung talagang gustong gusto niya yung bagay that, like, they exert so much effort, Okay. Like, have you ever met someone so aggressive, for example, in working out? Yung sobrang aggressive yung working out. Yung lahat ng effort, lahat ng lakas, binibigay na nila, okay? Or have you ever met someone na gustong gusto ka at sobrang aggressive? Yung araw, kada oras, chat ka, okay? Or you have a friend na gustong mangutang at sobrang aggressive. So every minute, it's messaging you, right? So they are assertive pushy, 
or insistent, okay? Yung opposite niya naman is yung passive. Ano naman yung passive? Walang pake at all. Wala lang. Okay. If people go to the gym and they are passive, nagsiselfone lang sila sa gym, or, you know, a bit of a weight lift, yun lang. But not so much of that. So, opposite na aggressive, it's passive, okay? I'm not saying that it's a bad thing to be aggressive, just uh, choose kung saan mo gustong maging aggressive, okay? There. Let's proceed. Again, pay attention, yung hinahanap is antonym, okay? Which of the following is opposite in meaning to imprison? Is it lock up, box, cage, or free? I think this is not so... <laughs> this is... I think I know this is very basic for all of you. But let me see. Yeah, tapos hindi ka babayaran. That's true. Guys, if you have Christmas bonuses and then tinatanong nyo kung saan nyo siya spend, first of all, bayad ka ng utang mo, okay? So it's a good thing for you and to the person that you're indebted to, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I've just learned that somewhere kasi. So some people splurge. Do you remember the word splurge? Their Christmas bonuses. So the first thing is, uh, bayad ka ng utang, okay? So that you start the year that you're debt-free, okay? Correct answer is ito, okay? It's not so hard na money. Eh. So lock up, box, or cage, they're all the same with the word in prison. The only opposite one is the word free, okay? Yeah, pakawalan mo. <laughs> Next one, which is opposite to boring? Is it dull, exciting, monotone, or flat? <laughs> Nangungutang ka rin ba, ma'am? Let me see. I have never... Um, ako, I have tried situations where talagang gipit na gipit ako. Or like, especially this year, I was diagnosed with a very serious sickness. <laughs> so, unaubos yung pera ko dun. But yeah, not to the extent naman. Actually, and if nangungutang ako, binabayaran ko agad. Makakalimutin kasi akong tao. <laughs> and... Really, I feel bad sa mga inuutangan ko. Anong work mo? Um, hindi ko alam. Umuupo ako minsan. Tumatayo din minsan. <laughs> Nagle-lecture minsan. <laughs> so, correct answer is, yay! Opposite ng boring is exciting, okay? What do we mean by mono? Always remember, guys, kapag mono, it's one, okay? If I'm not mistaken. So, monotone, it's yung... The same lang siya ng boring tsaka dull or flat, okay? So, if you have a little tapos, ganito lang yung tono niya, okay? That's monotone, okay? Like, hindi nag-raise yung voice, hindi na-lower, hindi natutuwa, hindi rin nagagalit. Parang, ganito lang. That's monotone, okay? And for some people, that can be boring or flat, okay? So, opposite niya is exciting. Next one. Which is the opposite of the word forbid? Is it allow, prohibit, ban, or exclude? These are so cool because we'll be able to widen our vocabularies, no? Okay, very well. Especially the ladies. <laughs> Yung mga babae talaga sobrang smart. Yay! So mga parents, we're gonna say God bless you. To the retakers, God bless you more as well. I'm so proud. Ang hirap kaya maging retaker, I think. You know, there, there's strength in there. Because I can never imagine na, like if you fail and then you try again, sobrang hirap nun. So if you are a retaker, I am so proud. Like, nakakat yeah, you should be proud of yourself too for being so brave. I always told myself, like, if fail, when I was still reviewing, and I told myself, if I fail the let, I don't know, nah. So if, yeah, you failed and tried again, there's strength in there. Yes. <laughs> so God bless you. Correct answer is allow. Yep, yun lang. Forbid is pinagbabawalan, okay? So it's the same with prohibited, ban, or exclude. Not necessarily like 100% the same, but they have similarities. So yung complete opposite nyo lang is yung, okay, you allow. Okay, ano bang 
Tagalog ng allow. Pinayagan. Okay, pinayagan versus pinagbawalan. There. Next one, which is opposite to compliment? Is it insult, admire, praise, or commend? So, comment your answers. I hope, nag-freeze daw. I hope hindi on my end. All right, that's good to hear. Yes, thank you so much, guys. Which is opposite to the word compliment? Uh, these words are not so hard, no? Which is good. All right, so take muna na off yung music. Okay, it's okay na pala. Ano bang magandang pakinggan? <laughs> All right, so correct answer is, nawala na naman ang aking slide. So it's letter A, insult. So kapag compliment, it's the same as praise, admire, or commend, okay? So kapag pinagsabihan ka, oy ang bait mo. <laughs> That's, okay, someone is admiring you or someone is praising you, okay? So, compliment. Yung guapo ba yung jowa niya ay mabait. <laughs> that's, I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> I've heard that kasi in high school. <laughs> I had a friend. And, guapo ba yung jowa niya? Matangkad. Ay, okay. <laughs> so, next one. Which is opposite to fear in meaning? Is it terror, fright, courage, or dread? Comment your answers down. Oh, sir, yes. I always listen to Ghost by Justin Bieber. That's so cool. Let's see. Lak Lak Hill Songs. No pa, TJ Terde. <laughs> it Sheeran is also not so bad. All right. Sinong taga Manila? Guys, you're so lucky. Ang dami niyong concerts, ha? Can you imagine in Manila next year, magko-concert dyan, Air Supply and Brian Adams? Mama matay ako. <laughs> Hindi ko afford. So I'm so sad. I've always wanted to meet these people. Finally, pumunta sila ng Pilipinas, but sa Mal Man hanggang Manila lang. Very sad naman naming taga South, but it's okay. <laughs> yes, correct answer is courage. So fear is takot, but courage is the ability to yeah go through that. Yeah. Put it on bravery. Okay. So bravery is, this is very, okay, puno siya ng sense. In order to be brave, you have to be a little scared though. Okay. So maybe it's not like the exact opposite. So courage is an opposite to fear. Okay. Terror, fright, and dread, they're synonymous. Same meaning lang sila. Okay. Again, ano yun? Add, add one out. So ano yung pinakaibang option? Probably Yan yung sagot, okay? Next one, which is opposite to artificial. Is it, excuse me, fake, natural, imitation, or false? Comment your answers. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes, yung Blackpink pupunta din ng, yeah, I think Philippine Arena, right? Kaya lang, uh, ano yan eh, privilege yan eh. Like the us, no, yung mga normal na tao, they, pumila sila. Tapos yung, for example, artista, so sila yung priority, ba? Punta ka dito, gusto ko po. Ben and Ben went to Cebu. It was so cool. We had, they had an Aurora Fest. So nandun yung Ben and Ben, Arthur Neri, Zach Tabudlo, and uh, like a lot. And I was invited, no? Like before, pero I'm actually a big fan of Coach Bamboo. So, nanonood ako ng local concert. I, I pay the ticket if nandyan si Coach Bamboo. Yeah. I only know one song from Ben and Ben kasi. So, ibigay ko na lang sa totoong fans. But Ben and Ben is so good. Eraser Heads. Wow. December Avenue. Oh, really? Ticket ng Brian Adams, I think. Mahal ba? Yung air supply, it's around 11,000. Brian Adams, I'm not sure. Pero sure, mahal din siya, no? <laughs> Their correct answer is... <laughs> okay, it's natural. So letter B, everyone got the correct answer. This is not so hard. So fake, imitation, false, or in our term in the Philippines, stick. <laughs> That's artificial, no? But ngayon, ang dami nang, yeah, like... 
artificial noses or eyes, hair, the ba? To look beautiful, that's a really good thing. Kung afford niyo magpaganda, go. <laughs> okay. Next one, which is opposite to narrow? Is it A, slender, B, thin, C, lean, or D, wide? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Ah, Ben and Ben is going to Davao though. Skasta, Klee. Who is this? Ito ba yung trending na? Anyway, I'm not sure. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. So, what about the others? Comment kayo ay. Let's talk about music. Diba? <laughs> Sobrang dal dal ko instead of focusing to the lecture. Yeah. Para yung tapos na sumagot, you'll be entertained. <laughs> One time I was called out. Sabi nila, magaling si ma'am pero ang dami niyang story ah. Kaya nga magaling yung lecturer kasi madaming story <laughs> Correct answer is wide, okay? So slim, uh, no, no, slender, thin, or lean, it's the same as narrow, okay? So opposite niya is yung wide. Next one. Rivalry. Anong opposite ng rivalry? Is it friendship, competition, feud, or opposition? Comment your answers. Sample ng kanta, hindi po. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Wiz Khalifa. Who are punk lovers here? Punk lovers. Yung mga My Chemical Romance vibe. I'm a big fan, especially the boys, di ba? I'm sure some of the ladies like K-pop, no? And I don't have anything against that. So, of course, sikat yung BTS and Blackpink and ano pa yun? Twice. Nakakakilala na lang ako kasi <laughs> my best friends are really huge fans. And I'm the only one na punk yung gusto. Yeah. <laughs> Second and serenade. A rocket to the moon. Five seconds of summer. Things like that. Yes, mga emo po kami. All right, correct answer is kapag rivalry, guys. So basically, nandito sa other options yung meaning. So competition, feud, or opposition, ibig sabihin magpaaway, okay? Rival. Aha. So opposite niya is friendship, okay? Now, these this is the thing that I told you about. So Another thing to identify the antonym or to know the antonym of a word, you identify what kind of antonym is it. So, what are kinds of antonym? Yes. First one is the gray double antonym. So, kapag sabihin mong hot and cold, directly magkasalungat sila. But not 100% kasi dumadaan pa siya sa cool. Tepid. Tepid. Lukewarm, warm, tsaka naging hot. So, yan yung gray double, okay? Katulad nung dark tsaka light. Directly opposite sila, yes. Pero dumadaan ka pa sa dim light, di ba? Hanggang sa naging completely opposite siya. So, merong level, okay? Or merong, yeah, level. So, that's gray double. Gano kalakas yung hotness or coldness. That's another thing. We have, as well, complementary antonyms. What does that mean? Yung... Um, they go along together, but in a complete opposite way. So in and out, true or false, good or bad. So mag, yeah, parang ano yun, both ends of a uh, magnetic pole. So yeah, they are together, but completely opposite. Okay, it's complementary. And another one is relational. So husband, wife, teach, learn, doctor, patient. So merong relationship. Okay, some and some antonyms can go like that as well. So magkasalungat sila but in a relational way, okay? So boy, girl, something like that. <laughs> May relationship between boy or girl. Okay, husband and wife na lang. So there, that was it, okay? So figure out if it's gradable, if it's complementary or it's relational. Yeah. But that's just you don't have to memorize them, okay? I'm just giving you the idea para mas mapadali yung pag-identify mo. Now, next one is synonym. So synonym, ano yung synonym kapag yung antonym opposite, yung synonym naman is the same or similar, okay? So let's try which of the following is the same in meaning to accurate. 
Is it invalid, correct, erroneous, or untrue? Comment your answers and let's entertain the music taste of the people. <gasps> oh, Sir Genesis answered May Day Parade. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just okay. <laughs> I'm just happy that he mentioned Mayday Parade. So of course you have Lincoln Park, 21 Pilots, Yung Lenny, Lenny by Yung Lenny. So they went to Manila, diba? Life House, lovely. Of course, po, Yung Mayday Parade, kasi. Oh my gosh, you know Mayday Parade. I'm so happy. I will show you my. ID sling so work this one it's mayday parade you know the story i'm a big fan of mayday parade at nung college ako hindi ako mabait na student okay baka akala nyo matalino ako hindi ako bobo pero hindi ako mabait i'm a big fan of mayday parade tas pumunta sila sa cebu and i was still a student that time so you know what i did <laughs> pagkabigay ng mama ko ng tuition fee ko <laughs> Pumunta ako sa Cebu City, sa SM, to buy the most expensive ticket for May Day Parade. I know, I know, it's crazy. Maybe that's what you think. Talaga? Mom, you're crazy. I was, you know? So I exchanged my tuition fee just to watch my favorite band's concert ticket. And it was worth it. Every minute of it. Guys, <laughs> really. <laughs> Until now, hindi, and hindi at never ako nagsisisi. Of course, I thought of alternatives. Nag-apply ako ng scholarship to pay my tuition fee. Pero yeah, binayad ko pa rin yung tuition fee ko for a ticket. Anyway, yeah, yun lang. So, correct answer is, kapag sabihin mong the same meaning, synonym, accurate is correct, okay, or tama. So, you have, of course, uh, opposite niya is yung invalid, hindi, it's not correct, erroneous, my error, or untrue, okay? So accurate is correct. Next one. The same meaning in word or the same in meaning to clarify. Clarify. Is it perplex, confuse, puzzle, or explain? This is not so hard. Okay. Yeah. Ang lakas mo, ma'am. Actually, eh kasi yung mga bands, hindi naman sila pumupunta ng Cebu hanggang Manila lang. And I was so surprised kasi of all the bands, yung idol ko pa yung pupunta ng Cebu. At wala akong pera eh. Yeah. But of course, when I grad graduate naman ako, ako nga nag-welcome address. <laughs> kahit hindi ako kumlaude. <laughs> so, nakagraduate din naman kahit pa paano. Of course, when I started working na, I'm able to afford na formally. So, nakik nakakita ko, nakita ko na si Coach Bamboo, yung mga idols ko. So, last October, I met Michael Learns to Rock. <laughs> I'm sure Sir D knows kasi we're Facebook friends. And they're super cool. Do you know Michael Learns to Rock? Yeah, guys. <laughs> Until now, it still makes me happy thinking about that. Why are we talking about concerts ba? Correct answer is, yes, letter D, it's explain or clarify, okay? So, you're making things, you're... you're yeah, you're making things clear. Okay? Kapag perplex, it's the same meaning as confused. Okay? I've learned this one, like, on one of the presidential aspirants' interview. So, sabi nung isang candidate na, I am so perplexed by this thing. And I was really confused. Ano ba yung perplex? So, ibig sabihin pala is nalilito ka. Okay? So you can say the exam was actually perplexing. So ibig sabihin, you did not understand completely, okay? So it's not clear, okay, or it did not clarify anything. So that's perplex, confused, or puzzle. They are same meaning or opposite silani, clarify, okay? Next one. What about this? Same in meaning to commence. Is it start, finish, graduate, or end? Commence. <laughs> oh my, they know Derek Sanders. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes, po. There. Oh, Westlife and Backstreet Boys are also going to Manila. Swerte talaga ng taga Manila. Mga anak ni Lord. Sana all. So I think the only regret is Lincoln Park no namatay yung ano niya. But of course, for local naman, I'm sure the ladies love Moira. Who else? I'm not a big fan. My sister loves Leia Salonga. 
Okay. <laughs> but that's how it goes. Okay. So correct answer is yes. Commence is start. So you can say let the dinner commence. Ibig sabihin nagsisimula na. Okay. Start or another synonym nila is uh, begin. Begin, start, or commence. Okay. Kapag finish or end, it means tapos na. Yung graduate, it's just a distractor kasi we always hear commencement exercise. <laughs> okay, but actually, it's start. Next one. Uh, this is a really good word. What is the opposite if we say sarcastic? Is it praise, factual, plain, or ironical? Let me see. <laughs> MYMP. Okay. You guys have good music taste. Yeah, that's. D <laughs> but really, I'm so happy about the crush, the Mayday Parade thing. <laughs> so, correct answer is. All right. If you say sarcastic, some people are like this. They say something else, but they mean something else, diba? Right? Like, parang, hey, maganda ba yung suot ko? Oo, oh, oh, sobrang ganda. Bagay na bagay sa'yo. Nagmumuka kang aso. So that's, wow, very sarcastic. So it's ironical, okay? It's letter D. So praise, factual, or plain, they are not sarcastic, okay? So some people are like that. In my group of friends naman, I, I don't have sarcastic people. They are all nice. <laughs> Ako lang yata yung hindi. But anyway, that's sarcastic okay there correct answer is letter d next one which is synonymous to reject is it gain deny count on or tackle synonymous to reject comment your answers thank you yes very well ang tatalino nyo na since the beginning you've always had the correct answers I'm, I'm really hoping we can finish on time, at least around 7.50, so you have time to prepare for the next lecture. Maganda yung next lecture kasi logical reasoning. Baka nga umatend ako. <laughs> I'm just joking. I have many things to do after this. So correct answer is, okay, kapag ni-reject ka, okay, you were denied. You were not given access. You were not given approval. Okay. So gain, count on, or tackle, they are just distractors. It's letter B. <laughs> Next one. Uh, synonymous to the word enormous. Is it petite? Is that petite po ba? If you know the correct pronunciation, you can comment it down, okay? Midget, gigantic, or tiny? Comment your answers down. Oh... Parang siya din deny ako. Oh, that's really sad. It's okay. <laughs> of course, who loves to be rejected? No one, diba? That's one of my biggest fears. Before, when I was young, I used to be a self-centered individual. And I always feel na ako lang lahat. So, ayokong never reject ako. So now, okay, natatanggap ko na. That sometimes... Some careers, things, or people are not just for you, okay? Or maybe you're set to have something better there, okay? All right, so if you say enormous, it's huge, big, or gigantic. Magbigay nga ng example na bagay na gigantic. <laughs> Airplane <laughs> or a ship, for example. So if you say petite, midget, or tiny, they are, ano ba? Yeah, they are also synonyms, but opposite sila sa enormous, okay? It means small or little, okay? All right. Correct answer is, oh. <laughs> How about this one? I think we had this word yesterday. So if you say flamboyant, is it modest, vibrant, simple, or plain? Let's see your answers. Comment them down. <laughs> O, ang layo na ng topic nyo eh. Ganun talaga, no? Kapag ganun yung topic laging. <laughs> Alright, the so correct answer is... Okay, very well. So we've had this, I think, yeah, yesterday. In the vocabularies, it's vibrant. Okay, flamboyant is vibrant. 
So not simple nor plain. Okay, or modest. So vibrant lang yung pinaka different option there. Okay. <laughs> B kasi yun yung madami. Okay. <laughs> Next one. Okay. Synonymous to the word want. Is it loath, deficit, despise? I think mali yung spelling ko ng despise. Ganito ba spelling ng despise? Or what's that? Desire. Comment your answers. Let me check the spelling muna. Oh, it should be letter E, no? Yeah, it should be. Despise is D E, not D I, okay? Kailan lang ako nakamit ng word na D I. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, by the way. Ganun lang talaga. Especially in spelling. Even last night, I was reviewing my live and I'm reading words na wala sa PPT. I don't know why. Sometimes my brain, I, I have a reading deficiency and writing deficiency as well. So kulang yung, yeah, sometimes punctuation or the spelling is incorrect. It happens. Correct answer is... Okay. All right. So if you say want, it's letter D, desire. Okay. So want or gusto mo, you desire it. Yeah, yun lang. So loath, it's you don't like it. Deficit is not. Despise is also not. Okay. So yung despise, wrong spelling yan. It's D-E. Okay. Next one. So, which is the same in meaning to word to the word advocate? Is it oppose, undermine, contradict, or support? Advocate. So you can say, for example, people who are running for politics, they have each of their advocacies or platforms. So I advocate you know, same-sex marriage, for example. I advocate what? Um accessible education to yeah all or to everyone okay or inclusive education so advocate it means you okay let's not hindi na tayo magtatagal dyan. it's support okay advocate is support this one same meaning to the word genuine genuine is it authentic unreal false or imitation the thing is, if you have like an understanding, even if you don't know the correct answer, malalaman mo siya because of the options. Okay? So another tip, I think I'm going to give it later, pero ibibigay ko na lang. It's question all the... If you don't know the answer, question all the choices. If they can be... Or if they can answer the question ba? Something like that. Yeah. So in this case, di ba? Kahit na hindi mo alam yung genuine, reading the options, you already know what's the most different choice. So it's, okay, correct answer is all right. Letter A, genuine is authentic o totoo. So ano ba? Yeah, authentic feelings, genuine feelings. Yung sapatos. <laughs> it's not imita in the imitation. Okay, authentic yung iPhone, Pro Max. Yung iba kasi naamaze ako kasi yung casing lang yung iPhone but the phone is actually Android. I'm not degrading Android. Ha. I am an Android user. Pero some people lang talaga are really funny and brave, no? <laughs> and there's nothing wrong about that. If you want to do that, it's okay. It's your phone. So, let's proceed. We have now sentence error, Okay. So how to, I, I, I'd be giving tips along the way on how to identify sentence errors, okay? Let's start, okay. First is, there's no easy way to say this, but if you want to know sentence error, you understand sentence structure, yung correct grammar, okay? So, of course, you learn the parts of speech, yung mga adverb, ano ba yung adverb? Extinct pa talaga isa isa. Um, <laughs> adverb is, it describes a verb, okay? So kapag yung verb or yung action word is walk, and if you say she is walking slowly, 
So, mahina siyang naglalakad. You are describing the walk, di ba? So, adverb yun. Kapag adjective naman, din describe niya yung noun. So, for example, you say, um, the song is nice. So, nice there is the adjective, okay? Conjunction or connecting words. Yung conjunction, marami rin kasi. So, I don't want to bombard your brains and so much information. But anyway, it's really important that to identify sentence error, you know, or you understand grammar, okay? So, let's try number one, or the first one. Female employees who works efficiently will be given clothing allowance. Is it A, employees, B, works, C, will be given the allowance, or E, no error? Chat your ans comment your answers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, I am... Okay, reading now the correct answers. And to, I was told that the, it, I'm not sure if it's still streaming on the other group, but hello po. I cannot see the comments. I can only take so much. Okay. So, yung mga babae talaga magaling sa English, no? <laughs> I'm not degrading the guys, ah. It's like scientific. Most of the guys are good in logical or mathematics. Tapos yung babae naman, more on linguistics. Yep. It's always like that. So, kadalasan yung mga... <laughs> Unless you're Sheldon Cooper na magaling sa lahat. <laughs> okay. Well, of course, I know someone. Yung crush ko in college, grabe, sobrang intelligent. Magaling sa math, science, tsaka writer pa siya. Magaling siya mag-program. <laughs> magaling mag-edit <laughs> ng graphics. Ano kaya ang klaseng ta? Nasa na kaya yun? But yeah, some people are like that. But mostly, yeah, girls are more linguistically inclined. Kaya nga madaldal yung mga babae, di ba? Tapos mas logical naman yung mga lalaki. But I have, I know people, girls na magaling sa math din. Yeah, I'm not stating the general. Some lang, or most of the time. <laughs> okay. So correct answer dito po is... Works yung error. Bakit? Kasi female employees. Employees. Marame sila. So your verb should not have an S, okay? Female employees who work efficiently, okay? Correct answer is letter B. Yes, exactly. So next one. The increasing mechanization of life have led us farther away from daily contact with nature and the craft of farm. Is it increasing, have led us, daily contact, the craft, or no error? Comment your answers down. Laging tama yung mga babae. Marites yung mga babae. Wife ko laging tama. Someone here mentioned... Ano yun? A jack of all trades, a master to none. Alam nyo ba what this means? Jack of all trades, a master to none. It's magaling ka sa maraming bagay, but hindi ka excellent sa iisang bagay. And do you know the whole quote? It's actually, a jack of all trades is a master to none, but oftentimes better than a master to one. So completely yung if you read the entire quote completely opposite yung meaning niya. 'Di ba? Para kasi negative yung connotation eh, na if you're a jack of all trades a master to none it's not good. But actually yung whole quote is okay, it's oftentimes better than a master to one. So ako personally mas i-prefer ko rin na marami akong alam sa maraming bagay because you get to experience many things kaysa sa isang bagay ka lang magaling. Yeah. Unfortunately, hindi ako magaling sa maraming bagay. Hindi rin ako magaling sa isang bagay. Yeah, we exist. And that's okay. So that was it. That was my crush. Um, yeah, but he, he is, yeah, probably just a jack of, uh, a master to everything. A master of all trades. Kasi magaling siya sa lahat. All right. Correct answer is... Yay! Some are answering no error. Some are answering letter B. So correct answer probably is, okay, it's the have. Let us. So again, kailan gagamitin yung have kapag plural 
present tense or first and second person kapag I or you, I have, you have, they have, okay? However, if it is singular, we use has, okay? So yung subject natin dito is the increasing mechanization. That is uncountable. Kapag uncountable, it's always singular. Tulad mo, single, di ba? Kapag uncountable, it's always in singular form. So the increasing mechanization of life, it, it could be has led us or had led us, but it's not have, okay? Correct answer is letter B. It's the error. Next one. Mother bought a new dress for me yesterday. Is it bought for me or yesterday? Or no error. Comment your answers down and let us see. Okay. So we have here, okay, I'm reading answers. Yes, but don't worry, I'll be giving tips along the way on how to identify errors, okay? So yung first tip is you, you have to understand basic grammar, okay? So katulad kanina, di ba? Alam mo kung saan gamitin yung do, did, does, have, had, has. And if you're not in the lecture last night, you can just review it in the group, nandun lang naman yon, okay? And all the explanations as well. So this is yes, no error. So past tense nang buy is bought. This is irregular verb kasi nagbabago yung spelling niya, okay? But anyway, no error. Next one. I really know how to read this. Yung neither or neither. Depende kasi. But anyway, neither Lenora nor Filipina are a are to be held responsible for the hospital deaths no error again neither lenora nor filipina are to be held responsible for the hospital deaths is it neither nor are held or letter e no error comment your answers down oh my it's already seven you have another lecture at eight so siguro we will it's okay it's okay yeah, we will have one last day naman tomorrow. So I can wrap up my presentation. So, okay, correct answer is actually letter CR. So guys, yung rule nito is kung sino yung malapit sa verb, yan yung pipiliin nyo, okay? So dito is neither Leonora nor Filipina. So Filipina is only one person, okay? So it should be is. Okay, so kapag sabihin mo, neither my dad nor the boys, so sa the boys ka makikinig, okay? Yung mas malapit na noun. So, nor Filipina, it's is, not are, okay? It's the error. Yes, exactly. Next one, a group of young people have been working for the local barangay. Is it A, a group, B, people, C, have been, D, working, or E, no error. Comment your answers down. Yes, Paul. Thank you, Sir John. <laughs> According to Jean, kung sino yung malapit siya pipiliin. Kaya nga hindi nag-work yung LDR. It depends, ah. The true test of love is distance and time. <laughs> so, if after a couple of years, gusto mo pa rin yung isang tao, you must have loved that person a lot. Okay. After long distances, kung gusto mo pa rin yung tao and you're not interested in other things, you must have loved that person a lot, okay? Pero kung after a short period of time lang, nakalimutan mo na, or kahit malayo lang, <laughs> mga two hours drive lang, nakalimutan mo na, it's forget it. <laughs> Correct answer is, all right. <laughs> it's actually letter C. So a group, a group, iisang grupo. I is lang. Okay? So, we use have for plural. Okay? In singular, it's has. A group of... Kahit na people sila, it's still one group. Kapag sasabihin mong two groups of young people have been, that's acceptable. Okay? I think I talked about this one last night, no? So, a group, two groups, a team, two teams. So, kapag collective nouns, it's often deemed singular. Okay? So it's have been. Next one. The loud noise of the cars and trucks annoys those who live near the road. 
Is it loud noise, a noise, who near the road or no error? Okay. Let me see. So what do you think is the answer? <laughs> ah. So comment your answers down. There. What time was it? I hope you guys have eaten. You, you can eat your, you can actually eat your dinner while having the lecture. Now that's a good thing. So correct answer is, okay, some are commenting a noise. How about the who? <laughs> okay, naman yung who. So correct answer is, okay, the loud noise. Wait, I'm still contemplating this one. The loud noise of the cars and trucks. Why is it wrong? The loud noise of... It's the noise, Deba. Right? It's a singular. It's uncountable. So it's correct, I think. Those who live, those who live, live, live. Yeah, I think it's probably correct, this one. So probably no error. Kasi yung cars and trucks, they're not the subject. The loud noise annoys those who live near. We're just talking about the loud noise that's singular. Actually, this is no error. Okay. Let me correct the slide. <laughs> okay. So again, in order to identify errors, understand grammar. Next one. The three last chapters of this book are very interesting. Oh, it's the same example of a different type. So the three last chapters of this book are very interesting. Is it the three last this book are very interesting or no error? Comment your answers. Okay. So some are saying it should be these books. What about the others? Okay. So correct answer is, all right, error yung R. Again, it's just the chapter. It's, okay. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not countable. So the three last chapters of this book is very interesting. Kasi, it's the same. It's a one story. Kasi. Okay, it's not necessarily plural kahit na chapters siya. So the last three chapters of this book is very interesting. Okay. Now, let's proceed. Uh, it's, again, the neither you nor I needs the type writer now. What about this one? Is it you, I, needs now or no error? Also, another thing, kapag yung like subject or a noun is in the option, it's probably not the answer, okay? Kasi usually sa ground, yung mali naman is the verb, okay? Or the modals that are used or the conjunctions. So kapag noun yung or pronoun yung nasa option, it's probably not the answer. You can eliminate that one easily, okay? So in this case, we are left with, kapag tatanggalin natin yung you and I, so we're left with needs now or no error. So mas maliit na lang yung chance mo. Or mas maliit yung choices mo. Chance? <laughs> okay. So ne neither you nor I need. Again, I is kahit singular siya, it's the first person point of view. And kadalasan iba yung rule niya. Okay? So I need. Katulad nung I do. I have the same then say you okay so we don't need an s okay i you can never hear people say hey i needs i needs to eat <laughs> so it's always i need right so also pay attention to the sound okay so another thing in finding errors it's important that you observe parallelism ano ba yun yung 
Okay, pagka-parallel ng words in a sentence, kung the same ba yung format na ginagamit nila. So for example, uh, here, various words in the same sentence should follow the same concept. So kapag may ing, dapat lahat sila ing. If you're using to be, dapat lahat sila merong to be. They should be parallel, okay? So kasi pag hindi siya parallel, it can lead to being incorrect. For example, Students must go through programming, computing, and how to process, which is, okay, the incorrect part. Is it must go through how to process or C or E? No error. Comment your answers down. Mm -hmm. Again, dapat parallel sila, okay? This is, okay, lumalabas ito usually. So, kahit na alam natin grammatically, it's wala namang mali, but are they parallel? Okay. So what do you think is the answer? Comment it down. <laughs> Nakakalito. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Ganun talaga yung buhay. <laughs> yeah. So now you see, okay, everyone sees the correct answer. It's how to process. Bakit mali yung how to process? Because the sentence should be parallel. It should sound like this. Students must go through programming, computing, and processing. Okay? Students must go through programming, computing, and processing. Oh, kapag gumamit ka naman ng how to, dapat how to yung lahat. How to program, how to compute, and how to process. So, parallel sila. So, dito, yung how to process lang yung naiiba. So, it's incorrect. Okay? That's another way to see or to correct or to find errors if they are parallel it's okay kasi <laughs> okay we have more examples so for example lily likes eating m&ms and binge watching series on netflix which is the the wrong part is it likes eating binge watching on or no error comment your answers how to process po. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, yeah, computing. Ano ulit yun? Excuse me for a bit. Yeah, programming, computing, and processing. You remove how to, okay? So programming, computing, and processing. Kung gagamitan mo naman ng how to, you can say how to compute, how to process, how to program. Ganun lang. So it should be parallel. What about this one? Which is, okay, the incorrect part. All right. Oh, I'm seeing Miss Jane. <laughs> so so smart. All right. So, yung the rest the, the rest that are watching, please comment down your answers. Okay. So actually, this is no error. Why? Because Lily likes eating and binge watching. Okay. Usually, because kapag hindi siya parallel, you can say Lily likes to eat M&Ms and binge watching series. So to eat and binge watching. Hindi na sila pareho. If you can also say you can also say to eat and to binge watch. So jan na sila parallel, okay? So this time again kapag merong ing yung karamihan lahat sila gumamit ng ing katulad nito, okay? So katulad ng programming, nakalimutan ko na ulit. Processing and computing. Kaya lang yung isa hindi. So that was wrong. But this time, tama naman. Okay? Next one. I like to jog, bake, paint, and watching movies. Which one here is the error? Is it like to jog, paint, watching, or no error? Comment your answers down. Okay. If you say binge watching yung, you're being a couch potato, like, pinanood mo yung entire season in just, one sitting. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Correct answer is okay. So this time, hello, Mom Jessame. Okay. <laughs> so correct answer is watching. Bucket. It should be I like to jog, bake, paint, and watch movies. Kaso lang, siya lang yung merong ing. So hindi siya parallel. Siya yung na iiba, ba? Wow, ganun din pala. Ah, Napaka-strict naman ng English. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Finally, everyone got the drill. So, that's parallelism, okay? 
And let's try this one. The prisoners were accused of robbery, assault, embezzlement, and forging. Which is the error? Is it were accused, assault, embezzlement, forging? Or letter E, no error. Comment your answers. Yes. <laughs> right. Napaka. <laughs> Okay, very well. So still, katulad ng watching, so hindi tama yung forging, okay? So it should be robbery, assault, embezzlement, and forgery. So you're forging, ano yun, um, documents, for example. So forgery. Is there a word? Forgery. <laughs> or gumagawa ko ng sariling vocabulary. I think meron naman. Yeah, there is forgery. Okay. So the prisoners were accused of robbery, assault, embezzlement, and forgery. So that's how you will make the sentence parallel. Kaya yung forging, siya lang yung may ing, it's incorrect. Okay? Okay. Tip. You observe redundancy. What does that mean? Hindi pa ulit ulit. Okay, observe redundancy. So if you keep on repeating something in a sentence, yeah, it can possibly be incorrect. Okay, masyadong redundant. Yeah, so for example, if you say, oh, you are so gorgeous and beautiful. So masyadong redundant, beautiful na, gorgeous pa, same lang naman yon. Okay, so pay attention. Let's try so the sentence must not include repetitive words. For example, he will return back next week, which is the error. Is it will return back week? Or letter E, no error. Okay, so correct answer is, <laughs> okay, very well. Hello, Paul, good evening. To those who just entered, good evening. Whew, it's very dark na syllabus. Anyway. Okay, so we are removing. Oh, yeah, you see, it's very easy lang, no? Okay, so return back. Mag return pa, tapos babalik. Return is babalik, tapos back is babalik. Now, that's very redundant, no? So he will return next week or he will be back next week okay but na una yung return so we remove the back okay all right next one in our community our neighbors we help each other which is the error is it a our b neighbors c we d help or e no error okay <laughs> i received uh th there's this technique said like, like, ma'am, anong gagawin namin? Inaantok kami sa lecture. <laughs> and I heard it from another lecturer. Sabi niya, you imagine na lalabas na yung result tapos wala yung pangalan mo. <laughs> and we'll see if aantokin ka pa ba. Well, I've already imagined that. And yeah, it was sad and devastating. So kahit pa paano, I'll, I'll do my best. Again, dahil nandyan ka na, galingan mo na. Okay. Gabi -gabi ka naman natutulog eh. <laughs> All right. The so correct answer is we. Bakit? We already have the word our neighbors. So hindi na necessary yung salitang we. Next one. Oh, another tip. Daming tips ah. So finding error, you have to pay attention to punctuation, spelling details, and the suffixes. So yung mga an, im, Yung mga karugtong ng mga root words, pay attention to them. So they could be, yeah, they can lead or they can lead the sentence to be erroneous. So pay attention to them. Let's try. His green tie was not right for his suit. No error. Is it A, green tie, B, was, C, right, D, suit, or E, no error? Let's see. Mas mabut. Nang sinubukan kesa sa sinukuan. Oh. Uh, ano yung kanta? You can fail at everything. No. You can't win at everything, but you can try. Diba? 
So, nandito na nabubuhay na naman tayo. Let's just make the most out of it, you know? Did you know that a lot a lot of people are not privileged to to reach the age that you are in now? So, since nandito ka na, you exhaust what you have in life. Diba? You can't win at everything, but you can try. Mm-hmm. So, pay attention if you fail. If you fail, hindi ka lang mag-fail. judge ka rin ng tao. Okay? And actually, yung people judging, it doesn't matter naman. Pero masa- masasaktan ka kasi. So, take care of yourself. And yeah, gawin mo na lang best mo. Okay? Yeah. We keep on saying that we don't have to prove ourselves to people. Maybe. Okay? But the, their words can hurt you. That's why, kung ano man gagawin mo, you just do your best. Correct answer is, yes. It's actually letter C. So, okay. So, Sir Ivan, yeah. Some are chatting the correct answer, which is yung right na R-I-G-H-T. So, this is incorrect. Next one. In winter, days are warm the night. No error. Which is it? Is it letter A, in winter, B, R, C, warm than, D, night, or E, no error? So comment your answers. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's the song with a smile. <laughs> exactly. So nandyan ka nagalingan mo na. <laughs> Otherwise, you will regret it. Yeah. If you don't do your best, don't do it at all. It's just the same kapag nanguhugas ka ng pinggan, tapos 50% lang yung effort mo, tapos marumi pa rin. You're just gonna wash it again. So, wag na lang. <laughs> Kung nagdadabog ka habang nanguhugas, wag na lang. Mababasag mo lang yung pinggan. <laughs> tapos kailangan pa bumili ng bago, right? Okay. So, dahil, okay, nandito na kayo and you have one week left, okay, gawin nyo na lang. Just do your best. Ako nga two years na postpone yung let namin. It was a lot of struggle. And honestly, I passed that kasi na pressure talaga ako. Because a lot of people are waiting for me to fail. Yeah. And I don't want to satisfy them. Okay. <laughs> so there. And it was really hard. Lalo na tayong mga hindi marunong mag-aral or hindi talaga nagsa-study. Hindi tayo marunong mag-memorize or we don't know our study habits. So it's hard, no? I have to attend lectures and I have to actually reach out yung mga top-notchers na kilala ko just to ask for help. So it's the same on your end, okay? Pag meron kayong may hindi maintindihan, yeah, you can message people you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, correct answer is yes! <laughs> yung in winter, it's correct. Again, we use in for seasons, di ba? Yung wala dito is yung suffix na er. So it should be warmer than. Warmer than. Some words hindi mo madadagrega ng er, kaya nga meron tayong salitang more, di ba? So for example, yung beautiful. You cannot say beautifuler, di ba? It's always more beautiful. It should be like that if you are, okay, because, ah, pumapasok na naman tayo sa ibang subject. So that's comparative kasi. So kapag yung, yeah, anyway, that's comparative. So you have to add ER or more. So days are warmer than night. Pay attention to the suffixes, okay? Next one. The coach with his entire team are traveling by plane. No error. Is it A, coach, B, his, C, R, D, by plane, or E, no error? Again, kapag noun yung nasa option, you can remove that kasi... Impossible naman na maging mali yung noun. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. Comment your answers. Oh my, we have... Okay, I will end at... Ah, you have a lecture kasi at 8. Eh. But it's okay. I'll be here for my last day. It's a lecture tomorrow. Okay, I'll just wrap up the things that I have to wrap up. Correct answer is... All right. Okay, thank you, Sir Drake. He completed my sentence. Ayoko na sanang i-mention yung superlative and comparative. But thank you. Yeah. Let passer po kayo. Yes. <laughs> but yun lang. Wala na iba. <laughs> yeah, I tried. Of course, of course. You cannot be a lecturer unless you pass a specific something. As difficult as it is, hindi naman ibig sabihin na you passed, e magaling ka na. But uh, it's cre- credential matters kasi, di ba? 
like ikaw, if merong yung sakit, would you have an operation under the doctor na hindi po masas sa exam? Diba? Of course not. You don't trust that, no? <laughs> so, yeah, that's for credentials. Not that it's important, but kind of for the title. Yun lang. So, correct answer is, okay, bakit mali yung R? This clause kasi, it's what we call a positive clause. Yung merong mga, yung nasa loob ng kama, yung with his entire team, you can disregard them, okay? Hindi yun importante. Okay, you let it go. The whole sentence only here is, the coach. So focus ka lang sa coach, okay? The coach is traveling by plane. The coach is traveling. So yung with his entire team, okay, you disregard that. So again, okay, pay attention to punctuations. Next one. Since there was no evidence to indicate whose ring it was, the presiding magistrate dismissed the case. Which one here is the error? Is it whose ring it was, presiding or dismissed? This is a little bit tricky. Or letter E, no error. Comment your answers. Let's see. Okay. Oh, some will take the let. That's okay. God bless you. I have a lecture in Sir Melvin Boracho's YouTube. <laughs> but it's English kasi. That was intensive English. Sobra nakakadugo ng utak. But anyway, correct answer is... All right. So everyone got the... Ano ba yung... Again, pay attention to the punctuation. Ano ba yung who apostrophe is? That's who is. Okay? Yung who's na ownership. That is W-H-O-S-E. If I am not mistaken. Let me see. So, yung who's na ownership, that's, okay, W-H-O-S-E, okay? So, whose ring, whose bag is this? Kasi yung who's na apostrophe is, that's who is. So, hindi mo naman sasabing, who is ring? It was, ba? When you read it, it's whose, but basically, it's incorrect. So, pay attention na yung they, their, their, their. So, sometimes, nagkakamali tayo doon, okay? So, yung your, tsaka you are. <laughs> Recently lang, nagkamali ako niyan. <laughs> if we're Facebook friends, I have a lot of grammatical errors in my post. Really, it doesn't matter naman. But this is a test kasi. So, it matters on the exam. Kasi, yeah, it can make or break you as a passer. So, pay attention, okay? Yeah, so Facebook post. Anyway, Facebook naman, hindi naman yan thesis eh. So, I don't care much. But dito, it's an exam. So, pay attention. Okay, whose is the incorrect one? Next one. I know that you will enjoy receiving flowers that smell so sweetly. Is it enjoy receiving smell sweetly or E, no error? So, comment your answers. Which one here is the incorrect one? Ah, okay. So, correct answer is, nawala ang aking slide. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Did you answer no error ba? Okay, some are answering letter D. That's correct. So, sweetly, it's here. Flowers that smell so sweet. We need an adjective, okay? So, for example, kapag sasabihin natin, you look so beautiful. You don't say, you look so beautifully. Diba? So, pay attention to the, okay, suffix na li. So, sweetly there, it's... Uh, uh, it's an adverb, not an adjective. So we need an adjective here, okay? This flower that smells so sweet. Mm -hmm. You cannot say you look so beautifully. We always say you look so beautiful. Like, oh, dress looks so colorfully. Is that correct? No, it's just your dress looks colorful. So another thing, as I've mentioned last night, in order to find the error, you can... You can make another sentence with similar structure. Tignan mo if 
maganda ba siyang pakinggan o hindi, okay? So if it sounds incorrect to you, then it probably is. So here, sweetly is, or should be sweet, okay? So that's it. Now, next one. <laughs> Sabi ni sir, you look delicious. See? You don't say you look so deliciously, diba? It's always delicious lang. Now, let's have random. We have last three minutes, but we can finish the random questions. The bread always blank better when dip into coffee. Is it taste, tastes, go, or feels? Comment your answers down. I will have to let you go earlier kasi you have another lecture at 8. Okay. So the rest, yeah, pwede kayong magkape. <laughs> I cannot imagine the, the number of coffee I had for the past few weeks. Hindi ko na iniisip ang aking deadlines kasi sasabog yung utak ko. Whew. <laughs> but anyway, correct answer is, all right. So the bread always tastes. So bread is, okay, uncountable. Hindi na bibilang yon. You cannot say one breads or two breads, okay? It's always, okay, in singular form. The bread always tastes better when dipped into coffee. Next one. My neighbor, along with her dogs, blank, been walking since this morning. Is it has, have, or had? So let's see. Correct answer is, my, we have two minutes na lang. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hindi ko kayo minamadali. It's okay, okay? Again, we will wrap everything up tomorrow night. So we still have time. So yung, yung word analogy that I have, I'll just talk about it more tomorrow, okay? Correct answer is very well. Yay! Tama na sila. It's has. So my neighbor has been walking. So wala nang, you disregard the dogs na nasa loob ng kama, okay? One of her friends are good at painting, which is the error. Is it of, are, at, or no error? Let's see. So since I have one minute left, my best uh, review tip is, I always said this, to be with a supportive environment. To be with a supportive environment. So make sure that you are with individuals na kahit pumasa ka man o hindi ka pumasa, susuportahan ka pa rin, okay? Napakapangit naman if you're just with people na nandyan lang kasi pumasa ka na. So pass or fail, Make sure the people around you will still support you. Kasi that, that's very important. Importante talaga yung paligid natin eh. So kahit na we do our best to disregard them, naapektuhan kasi tayo. So choose your people, okay? Especially those who support you, whether you pass or fail, especially when you fail. And I know you will not fail naman, but life is unpredictable. So make sure you are in good hands, okay? And take care of yourself. <laughs> Correct answer is... Incorrect dito yung R kasi yung sentence is only one of her friends. Iisa lang. One of her friends is good at is yung correct, okay? Is, hindi R. Yung friends there, okay, you disregard that. Kasi yung one lang tayo focus, okay? And when you're writing a sentence, guys, please, kapag gumagamit ka ng one of her, dapat yung karugtong niya is plural, di ba? One of the boys. Hindi mo pwedeng sabihin, one of the boy is... Okay, so pay attention to that one. Anyway, correct answer is, okay, R. And the rest, do we have one more? Okay, let's have this one. Let's see who are the Mayday Parade fans. This is a proof. Derek Sanders blank not know how to write happy songs. Is it a did, do, or does? Comment your answers. This is my last item so that you can. Okay, pwede kayo magtimpla ng kape kasi very exciting yung next one. It's logical reasoning. I, I may watch the lecture as well because I want to learn too. So, <laughs> isa na tayo. Magsasama-sama tayo sa comments. But I'll just see kasi I have something to do then. Anyway, correct answer is... All right, Derek Sanders. Iisa lang si Derek Sanders kahit na merong S yung apelido niya. Derek Sanders does not again. Kapag singular yung noun, palaging merong S yung verb. Katulad nung does and has, tastes, eats. Always remember that one, okay? Kapag singular, palaging merong S yung verb niya, okay? And for the rest, guys, 
I will continue tomorrow. So that's it, okay? Pay attention to the words, clauses, um, understand the synonyms and antonyms, and of course, be with a supportive environment. And you have to take a break now because you have a lecture in the next few minutes. Thank you so much for indulging with me. I'm not sure where Sir Dean is. Should I just leave this one? But thank you, guys. Enjoy your lecture. I will see you still tomorrow, okay? So you can't win at everything, but you can try. See you tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> Enjoy your next lecture. Bye. God bless. Thank you.